Hey guys, hello. So next I'm I explained you on the environment, right? So I just explained you like what are the handles. Mailbox we have created the handles uh, interface. Uh, this is the environment, right? So uh, interface information we need to interface is like a, a hardware, right? Which will sits between the test and the <coughs> duty, right? But uh, to pass interface information to the classes, right? We need to have the virtual declaration. So we did the virtual declaration here for the environment, and we created the handles for all the stuff which are inside the environment. What are the stuff inside the environment? Are the cover groups, generator block, drivers, and monitors, and scoreboard. All, all and configuration, right? So all these things we uh, in handles are created, right? We explained this, and in the new function, uh, we just allocated the memory for that, and uh, whatever arguments are there, right? This information arguments will pass into the local class variables, interface, and configurations. Okay, and what what I am doing is I am just allocating the memory. Uh, okay, so th these all things you are clear now, right? And uh, in the environment run, you are just running the functions, right? This much I have explained, right? Now environment, at least you know what is the environment. Okay, now we will go one by one onto each of these blocks. Okay, what is what? So th this much is clear, right? Okay, we have encompassed the different components. I, I don't know what is in the component, but I have at least explained you things what are there in the environment. Okay. So there is something called as driver one. Okay, let's talk. Start with the uh, thing here. This is the driver one. So what is the inside set driver one? Right. So first we should understand what is the packet. Packet, you see, uh, it is nothing but data in address, data out, enable, write, and here I'm not declaring any input direction something, right? It's just a class, nothing else. It is just a class, okay? And uh, eight bits, it, it's familiar to the DOT, right? It has the eight bit data port and six bits address port. Same thing familiar here, right? And it has the eight bit data output port, right? So same thing, okay? Just that there are two data inputs in the DOT. There is only one here, and two data output ports, but there is only one declaration, right? This is a packet, right? So this is a packet, okay, which has these things. Okay. okay. Now in the driver side, uh, what what we are doing here? You see, uh, I'm just including the packet here, okay, and I'm just creating the handle for the packet. This is a mailbox generated to driver one. You see, uh, this driver has only one mailbox, and what is coming it it to it is from the generator block, right? So you see, generator two to driver one. Here they're using TX. I'm saying generator. Okay, you you can understand my words, right? I'm always speaking generator. And you see, there is a virtual. Okay, so uh, everything inside the environment, right? Uh, will interface will be like virtual. That's how you can attach the information, right? Then you see, there is an external function because look, you, you you don't want to describe everything inside the classes, right? So you can use the extern function here. You see, extern function I'm using. What is the in the extern function? I'm using. You see, uh, I'm passing packets. I'm creating the handles for the packet, mailbox, and interface. Okay. So these are the arguments. And uh, these arguments, how the values pass to the arguments from the environment you're getting right. In the environment, what was the thing? You see, uh, you, you are passing the interface and configuration from the test, okay? And you see driver, where is the driver? Driver one is equal to new packet one, TX2 driver one and interface. How is this INTF coming? INTF coming, this dot INTF is equal to INTF, right? So local interface of the class environment is getting passed as an argument in line number 43. And TX2 to driver one is the mailbox connecting the generator to the driver. Packet one is nothing but the handle and we have created the memory here, okay, in the environment. So you hope, hope you got this much. Now, <coughs> if, if you got this much, so th this is the same thing that is passing, right? So these are arguments are getting the values from environment. Environment is the one which is passing the information, right? Now this is the scope operator. In the scope operator, uh, how you're using is colon colon you're using. So this is a class name, 
and I'm saying that new. Okay, so automatically this function, whatever is written here, right? So you can put it outside the class. So this co operator will automatically fetch the information from the it will it will go into the class DRAM drive variable, it will see the new and it will automatically understand oh, this is the function. Okay, and it uh, this will interlink between the external function new. That is how it is, right? And same thing, right? Value from environment and say both are the same thing, right? Just I'm using external so that I can write everything outside the class. That's it. Now, this dot packet is equal to packet. This dot takes to drive one. So what I'm doing is I'm assigning in the local class variables DRAM packet packet mailbox virtual DRAM interface one the argument variables, right? So let's say example. Suppose it was like DRAM packet. And let's say you have written packet uh, one. Mailbox takes to driver one one, and this interface one. Suppose you've written it. This is what we got. This dot packet is equal to packet one, takes to driver one one one, and interface one. Hope you got it. Right? Your arguments are here in the right hand side. Okay, and this dot packet is signifying the class variables. This so your class local variables are getting the values okay from here arguments okay so this new okay this new automatically will in, in imply the memory location right hope you got it okay now what else what else is here you see there is a task run right Let's look onto the run side also. What is going on in the run? You see, I'm displaying that in I'm in the run phase. That's good, right? Now while one begin at positive eight interface dot clock. So what what I'm doing is I'm waiting for the positive edge of the clock to come up. Until and unless interface <coughs> clock will not come up, it will wait. Okay, infinite time it will wait till until unless clock is not there. Once it has seen the positive edge clock, what will happen? It is it has to collect the packet from the generator, right? So you see tx2 driver one dot get packet. It will collect the information from the packet. Uh, from the mailbox. Mailbox it is it's going to collect information from the generator block. Tx2 driver one dot get packet. Okay. Packet, what I'm doing is dot enable is going to one tick v1. Why I'm doing this here? You you need to understand this, right? Because look, if suppose this, if suppose in the packet itself, I would have driven the enable signal as one, right? What, what? If suppose this packet was not received in the driver one, I would have not known, right? So I'm enabling the packet once I have collected the information from the generator. Okay. Similarly, interface dot enable is equal to packet dot enable. Now, interface signal is getting interface has the enable signal, right? It is getting driven from the packet dot enable. Once I have collected the packet, things are clear. Now, what is this packet dot write is equal to zero? This is nothing but a write operation. In the write operation, what happens? You need to write the <coughs> you need to write uh, you need to collect the information from the memory. Right? What happens? Duty collects the information from the uh, duty. Uh, what, what will duty do? Duty collects the uh, input okay that is zero in and it will write into the particular memory location right that is what duty has to do so what what you need to drive through the duty you need to drive the address and you need to drive the data okay so you see i'm driving the data zero in so out of the two ports okay data zero and data one similarly here data zero and data one output side also but i'm just talking on here the input side right because driver is going to drive the duty. So duty, which thing it is going to drive of the duty? It is going to drive the input ports only, right? So data zero, it is going to drive as per our test case. Data zero port, I'm going to drive, okay? Data zero underscore in. With packet dot data in, okay? And what, what is inside this uh, packet address? What is packet dot in? Uh, I don't know yet. But uh, whatever is collected in the driver, okay, these packet variables 
will be written to the interface block. This much is clear, right? Okay. I don't know what is inside packet or write is maybe zero might might be one. Packet or address might be some some garbage value something x. I don't know. But I know this thing that interface is getting driven by the packet. Okay. So driver is playing its role now, right? Driver is working correctly now. I'm displaying it. Okay. This is this much is cool, right? This is the run function for the driver, right? Now you, you may ask, sir, sir why, why we don't have the read operation here? Because look, uh, monitor has the role for that, right? You you don't need to uh, do the you need to don't need to drive the duty. But you may ask, like, sir, yeah, but uh, we may need to drive the address. That is true. You need to drive the address. Otherwise, uh, how will it know from where it needs to fetch the information? So this is missing here, right? So this much is clear. So right now for the uh, understanding purpose, uh, at least we are, we are clear here that how driver one is behaving. Okay. Next look at the driver two. So there are two drivers, right? Driver one, driver two. Let's look at driver two. What is going on here? You see, same thing. Packet handle created, mailbox handle created, interface virtual function handle created. Then external function I'm calling again same thing argument is getting passed to the local class variables then I'm using the run phase then I'm waiting for the clock edge then I'm get, receiving the packet I'm driving some pen uh, and driving the packet enable to one and I'm passing the interface enable as whatever I have written in the packet enable that is one okay then uh, for and here I'm what I'm doing is wr is one that is what is the read operation so from one driver i am trying to have the write operation and in the another driver this is my way right you could have the read write in driver one you could have read write from the driver two no problem absolutely no problem right but i am doing the from the driver two i am going for the read operation okay so interface dot write one is equal to packet dot write interface dot address one is equal to packet dot address that is what i am doing so, okay so you see this is the same thing and is the packet too. Okay, next we'll discuss the monitor in the next class. Thanks.